In this video, I need to use count ifs. But as I copy the formula down, in this first row, I need the entire test1 column. But when I get down to the next row, I need the test2 column. Now, last video in the criteria range argument, we used the offset function to create a dynamic range. In this video, because we have the condition or criteria that matches the column header name, we can simply look up the correct column using the index and match function. Index, the array, those are all the potential values we want to look up. F4 to lock it, comma. Now, index requires the row and column number. Well, if we're looking up a column, we want every single row. And you tell index that you want all the rows by putting a 0 or by leaving that argument empty. I'm going to leave it empty, comma. And now we simply look up the correct column number using the match function. I'm looking up test1, comma. And I'm going to try and find a match in the column headers, F4 to lock it, comma, 0, because we're doing an exact match. Now match will look up the correct test, find the relative position. For example, test 4, it will report that it's in the fourth position, which is exactly what we need as a column number when we're looking up the fourth column. Close parentheses. Now let's just for a second click Criteria Range and hit the F9 key. I want to verify that it actually looked up the entire correct column. And sure enough, it did. Control Z. Now we come to the end, comma. And for criteria, we're trying to count how many 4.0 grades there were. F4 to lock it. Close parentheses. And that's our formula. Control Enter. When I double click and send it down, I can go to any cell. And when I hit the F2 key, click inside of count Fs. Click on Criteria Range to highlight the index match formula. And when I hit F9, we have looked up the correct column for test 5. If our lookup value actually always had a number at the end like this, we could, instead of using match in column number, we could use the right, which will get the rightmost character from each one of these text strings. Or if all of the items here were in exactly the same order as they are up here, we could simply use rows to increment as we go down 1, 2, 3, and so on.